uh, it's essentially about my experiences with ghosts and the paranormal and me trying to figure out what it is from more of a scientific standpoint. Slipknot and Stone uh, Sour frontman Corey set. Taylor had a book a signing double header today, July 17th, out in the New York City suburbs of Long Island. Corey traveled to Smithtown, New York for a 4 p.m. signing and then made his way to Huntington for an autograph session for his book, A Funny Thing Happened on the Way to Heaven, which officially hit stores this past Tuesday, July 16th. Taylor, who was running a tad bit late due to the horrific New York City area traffic, briefly addressed the crowd at book review in Huntington before racing up to meet with fans, and, uh, sign books, and pose for pictures. Sure we were able to grab a few minutes with Corey, and we asked him what kind of revelations he came away with after completing A Funny Thing Happened on the Way to Heaven. I started kind of putting these things together, and, uh, you know, when, when I was writing about the kids on the circle and, and the possibility of those things kind of following me from the one house to the next, it, it kind of hit on me that maybe this had to do with the way energy attracts each other in nature, you know what? And, and like, from, like from a scientific point of view, and then we see it in, in people all the time where you kind of get into that, like that soulmate syndrome where like, you just need to be around that person no matter what. So I was like, why couldn't that happen between these spirits, these bundles of energy, and another person? One of the more memorable chapters was the mansion, where strange things happened, like the covers of his bed being torn from his sleeping body by a dark entity, while Slipknot was living there during the recording of Volume 3, The Subliminal Verses. Corey talked about that experience. About three months into my stay at the mansion, I, I, uh, I quit everything, basically, and uh, got not program sober but I, I I quit drinking I quit ab abusing myself so it was it was pretty gnarly and to be honest I mean after I did that and my head started to clear a lot of this stuff started to kind of come to light you know and and uh you know things started happening more and um I, you know I started talking with the other guys in the band about it and they started kind of sharing their instances with me because I wasn't cocooning anymore. I wasn't like isolating myself anymore. I was actually starting to reach out with the band and hang out and talk. And that's when we started kind of comparing notes basically. And I was like, oh God, it's happening to everybody, you know? So it was, it was cool, you know? And it was, you know, and I'm glad I did it because it really put me on the path to be where I am now. And, uh, but yeah, that, that house is gnarly, dude. Like for real gnarly. Corey Taylor now moves on to the West Coast for signings July 19th in L.A. at Book Soup, July 20th at San Diego's Camp Pendleton, where he'll be signing his House of Gold and Bones illustrated novel and A Funny Thing Happened on the Way to Heaven. An update on our previous story regarding his stolen equipment, Corey told us that a majority of it has been recovered. And I know a lot of people might have more questions than answers when it comes to this, but for me... I was able to kind of make peace with a lot of the things that had happened to me because of a lot of the research that I did.